and good evening all good evening everyone i hope everyone of you can able to see my screen right you can able to see my whiteboard right uh am i audible vinpisundandi na voice andarki yes yes you are audible fine thank you thanks for the response so uh i hope you can see the whiteboard right whiteboard kanipistundi andarki yeah fine yeah. so let's start the session so first here today we are going to see uh the main uh, introduction of devops so firstly uh, before entering into the devops we are going to uh, you know we are going to see some more things okay so suppose if you are keeping any restaurant or any hotel what would be your aim uh, your aim would be to bring that restaurant into number one position right so to bring that hotel into number one position right so in order to bring so as an it employees if you want to establish any it company me aim em untundandi it company aithe to bring that organization into number one position me aim kuda it company anedi manam edaina pedthe mana company ye number one position lo unde laaga we will try to uh, uh, work right so but to bring any it company or any organization into number one position there are certain guidelines that everyone must follow okay so what are those guidelines we will see those things so here fine first one is faster delivery faster delivery means whoever enter into the market first they will capture the entire market evaraithe market loki vaalla product ni first launch chestaro vaallake market anedi untundi main ga okay suppose i'll give you an example you might be having idea on paytm right right why this paytm became so popular ee paytm anedi enduku popular ayindandi enduku ee paytm anedi inta popular ayindi why because it enter into market first and of course here uh, it introduces the concept of transaction of amount and of course now uh, you may have many third party applications like google pay phone pay and all but why this paytm became so popular because of introducing the concept of transaction okay second one is higher quality higher quality means here not only the faster delivery higher quality also will plays important role here higher quality means here suppose uh i'll give you one example not only entering into the product first that should have quality then only people will prefer without without having any quality people will not prefer here for example you just think of uh, you know arkut i hope you might be heard about this word arkut what is this arkut here arkut came into the market first but now arkut company itself closed arkut has been banned what is arkut guys any idea do you have arkut means what arkut ante entandi winner epudaina name arkut ane name yeah, it's kind of facebook yeah see it's a kind of social networking application okay so like now facebook became so popular everyone knows about facebook but arkut was there in 90s okay so previously facebook raaka mundu arkut anedi use chese vallam just like facebook only but here in fa- why this arkut has been banned now arkut anede ledu aa company ye close ayindi endukani because missing the quality quality anedi ledu see facebook lo chaala user interface options unnai avi quality anedi missing and here arkut anedi security purpose ka quality ledu that's why arkut company itself closed this one and of course market lo ki first vachindi arkute but facebook anedi popular ayindi so not only see first comes higher quality then only faster delivery okay next is lesser spending suppose here you are getting one product in some 10 rupees only okay but unnecessarily you are getting you are spending unnecessarily 100 rupees for getting same product okay so you are wasting lot of revenue here that also must be avoided okay and of course we should not get compromise in these first two characters 
okay that is a lesser spending we should get any product in lesser price okay and that product must have quality and as well as it enter into market first okay next and last is always available always available means here you are opening restaurant if you are closing that restaurant during lunch time or dinner time then there is no use of uh, maintaining that restaurant right it should be available to the customers customer satisfaction is important so even if your organization must be available 24 by 7 for the customers okay you might be thinking as we are attending for devops demo why are you explaining all these things and how these are related to devops yes these are related to devops how means let me explain okay so here every one of you having idea on irctc app what is this irctc guys irctc and a intern we need to run the ticket booking uh, ticket booking uh, app application yeah irctc means it's a railway ticket booking application okay so if you want to book a ticket we are going to enter into this application and we are going to book our tickets train tickets okay it's a train ticket application this is a railway application so e railway application raaka mundu tickets ela book cheskune vallam e application leka mundu how do we use to book the tickets by going to railway station and uh, book yes we were uh, railway Nine stations kelli chaala sep almost oka one day waste cheskoni ledante oka 2 to 3 hours railway counters lo queue lo undi book cheskune vallam avuna so em avutundi appudu manaki oka ticket book cheyadaniki almost chaala time waste avutundi ippudu simple ga intlo kurchone book cheskochu with the help of this application so what happened one day railway minister got an idea that my citizens of india facing problem before the application raaka mundu situation cheptuna okay my citizens of india are uh, facing some problem for booking railway tickets why don't i invent one new application for booking tickets and all so he thought railway minister ku vachindi even though ayaniki vachina thought manchide but in a application prepare cheyagalagada railway minister is he a technical guy no right he knows he is he might be good at politics but he is not a technical guy right so he cannot book this uh, he cannot create this application right so what he can do he is going to talk to one it company he is going to talk to it company okay so inside this it company they will be having their own employees who are capable enough to this uh, to book these tickets what is this railway minister is going to talk it company hey it manager in it company they'll have it managers right right hey it manager i want this kind of application i need so and so options he will explain all the things how uh, application ela undalo mottam cheptadu anamata it you know it manager ki so what this it manager is going to tell okay it will take around one year time and it will be cost of uh, you know this much of so and so amount it's a kind of business deal i'll prepare this application and you just pay this amount so what this railway minister tell okay i'll pay this amount i'll come back again one year so after one year again he will come and he will collect the application so here railway minister is assigning one task to this it manager okay or this it company what is the task preparing irctc application right so this task we are going to call it as technically as a project okay we will call technically this task as a project okay so here who is giving this project railway minister is giving this project whoever gives this project to any company or to it company that persons we will call it as clients okay so whoever gives this project railway minister is our client i mean railway minister is the client for this it company okay so wherever client sits that place we will call it as on site okay wherever client sits suppose client is sitting in delhi delhi will be your on site okay so wherever it people are working that place we will call it as off site or we will call offshore these are some technical terms guys okay this is off site or offshore okay fine so here 
in it company again railway minister will be having idea like no uh, only uh, this person is unable to prepare the application right only manager is unable to prepare the application right he will be having his own employees who are capable enough to prepare this railway application so what he can do for any application not only railway application if you want to prepare any application there are some guidelines some steps which every it company will follow okay so here not only irctc application you can take any application whatsapp application facebook application google application or insta application any application you can take so we will see all those steps first first comes developers okay what is the purpose of developers what is the purpose of developers guys so here if you want to see this application see in google if you type irctc okay if you type this one, you can able to see this application, right? How you can able to see this application? Backend, developers will be writing program for getting this kind of display. We will call it as user interface. Here we will call it as UI or user interface. So backend, developers will be writing program here. Okay. So in different, different languages, they might be following some Java language, Python, C++, any language they will right okay so whatever the developers are writing the program that program we will call it as a source code okay whatever developers are writing the program that program we will call it as a source code suppose if you are writing the code if you are writing the program then that will be your source code okay so source code and here fine now after developers has developed their code who will comes into the picture next comes build team will come into the picture what is the purpose of build team so here they will build this entire source code okay source code means the program what the developers are writing okay so build team purpose ain't he? whatever the program that developers are developing that entire program they will convert into some executable format that is what we will call it as build Building means converting this entire source code into some executable format. It's called building. Okay. So, executable format means, see, if you want to install some Google Chrome application, what you are going to do here, you will search in Google and Google Chrome, you will install. So, how you are going to get that one? You will get some .exe file. Okay. You will get some .exe file. If you double click on this, Okay, that will get installed into your machines. Okay, that is a purpose of build team. So what they are going to do, they will convert this entire source code into some executable format. That is what we will call it as a build. Once after build team has been done his task, I'll just give you a minute, yes. once after build team has been done their task who will come to the picture next per next is test team will come into the picture what is the purpose of test team they will test entire application they will test their entire application so testing means see here you will find many options right Suppose if you want to book your tickets, what you are going to do, you will enter your credit card details, all the details you are going to enter. So even if you enter some wrong credit card details, right? So if it is accepting, then there is some bug in the code. That means error in the code. That is the purpose of testing. See, they will test each and every option. See, many options you can see. Each and every option will be checked by test team. So, and again, some place you will be there. You will be, you have to enter some captcha. Even though if you are entering some wrong captcha, it is accepting. Means there is some bug in the code. So, purpose of test team is they are going to test each and every option which is available in the application. Okay. Once after test team uh, work is done, next comes QA team. QA means quality assurance. Okay. So, QA team will come into the picture. What is the purpose of QA team? They will check all the options like uh, whether the developers are following proper guidelines while uh, uh, developing the program or whether that application is free from hacker attacks or whether application is secure or not. All these options 
the test uh, QA team is going to check. Fine. Now I am done with all these things. At this stage, can I say that my project is over? If I am done with this, can I say that my project is over here? Can I say that my project is over here? At this stage. Guys, Adam Atunda, Chapedi, Andriki. Adam Atun Andi, Andriki. Yes, Andy. Okay. At this stage, can I say that my project is over here? No. No. So I can say that my product is ready. My application is ready. So here, next comes, who will come? Deploy team. Deploy. deploy team will come into the picture. Next. What is the purpose of this deploy team? They are going to deploy. See what this they are going to do. They are going to take this application or product. They will go to client location. And they will install this application in client machines also. In client side also, they will have some servers, right? They will take this product. They will go to client locations and they will install this application in client location. That is the purpose of deployment team. Okay. Once after deployment team uh, completes their work, next comes maintenance team. Or we will call it as monitoring team. So, monitoring team and maintenance team purpose ain't he? What is the purpose of maintenance team? See, uh, the clients doesn't know anything about this application option. So, maintenance team purpose ain't he? They'll go to client locations and they will train the people who are there in client locations. They will try and like how to access this application, how to take print out, how to book the tickets. Every option they will try to train. Okay, that is the purpose of maintenance team. What is the purpose of monitoring team? Monitoring team will be monitoring this application. Monitoring means, see, there will be, if I take this application only, IRCTC application only, there will be some tatkal moment at every day around morning 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, right? So, a tatkal moment apru, server me the chala burden out right? At that time, server may goes down, okay? So, that should not happen. So, monitoring team purpose ain't they have to check whether the CPU is under control or not or whether RAM is under control or not. All the things will be checked by monitoring team. Okay. So, once, if everything is perfect, then we can say that our project is over. Okay. If project is working fine, then client will give party to us. And again, one more project we are going to get here. Okay. Fine. See here, these stages are, we can see, Many stages, right? Development, build, test, QA, deploy, maintenance, monitor. These are different, different stages here. These stages are common for any application. You can take any application, whether it is WhatsApp application, Facebook application, or any application you can take. All these stages are common. So, these stages, we are going to call it as software development life cycle. Why we are calling it as life cycle? See, if I talk about uh, humans, Okay, we will have different stages in human being also. What are this child stage, adult stage, old age, all those stages. Those stages are common for me, even for you also. So that is called human life cycle. Okay, in the same manner, even here also, all these stages are common. So these stages, we are going to call it as software development life cycle. These stages are common for any application. Okay, that's why we will call this entire thing as software development life cycle. So in software development life cycle, we have two methods. Okay. First one is waterfall method or we will call it as step-by-step -step method. Waterfall method or step-by-step -step method. What is waterfall method here? Waterfall method means here, uh, see, suppose once developers are completes their work, then only build team will work. Okay, once build team completes their work, then only test team will work. Step-by-step, -step, 
waterfall method in name itself it is indicating that step by step unless the developers and build teams completes their work test team and qa team should sit idle right that's why we will call it as waterfall method so in this waterfall method we have some problems here okay we have some problems in waterfall method let's see all those problems and let's address all those problems also okay so here first we will see the problems here see here these team we are going to call it as development team and of course this team we are going to call it as operations team okay why because this team is not involving in any developing the product this team is not involving uh, see this team is not involving in product development they are just involving in operations manner that's why we will call this entire team as operations team this team we will call it as development team so here in waterfall method there are some problems here so we will see the first problem here first is uh, dev versus ops okay so what is dev versus ops see here there will be these two are different teams here so we cannot expect better friendship between these two teams here so better friendship we cannot expect means they will not fight each other but they will have some issues see here i tell you that see here while deployment team deploying their application in client machines if they are getting any error here so what will be happen the deployment team will be slight away blame this development team hey development team what kind of code you have developed it is not working fine in client machines so immediately development team will say that no no deployment team my code is working fine in my machines your machines are problem like this they will try to blame each other okay so if they try to blame each other the product uh, the product development will be late here so for uh, building this application only they will try to blame each other once the deployment stage only or any stage they will get struck so i'll give you one more example here suppose here if you are uh, going to abroad okay so you go and met with two people there so if you are going to some germany okay so you go and met with two people okay one is from your own country and another is from the one who is there in their local country so at initial stages with whom you would like to do the friendship at initial stages so obviously with our own country only right why because due to some cultural issue due to some language problems we will we would like to do friendship only with our own country people only okay so these are the problems these are different team members okay they will not you know they will not we cannot expect better friendship between these two team members so fine that is one major problem and second one is build versus test see even though this build team and test team are different different team members okay i mean uh, they are from development team they are also different team members right in build also we'll have 10 to 20 people in test team also we'll have 10 to 20 people even though they belong to development team they are different team members right they we cannot also be expect better friendship between these two team members also right so that's why we have to address this issue also fine next third one is manual manual means here each and everything will be done by manually okay so here manual products are not much perfect suppose i'll give you an example suppose if you are going to buy some 100 pots you want some 100 pots you go and met with two people okay one person is able to prepare all these 100 pots with the help of tool okay and another person is one who is able to prepare all 100 pots using hand or we can call it as traditional method so the one who is using tool we can expect all 100 pots are in same size okay we can expect all 100 pots in same quality as he is using tool he will take less time for preparing this all 100 pots so he will charge less okay he is not spending lot of human uh, efforts that's why he will charge very less so in other hand the one who is preparing uh, pots with hand then what will be happen as he is spending lot of time 
he will charge more and all 100 pots we cannot expect uh, in a better way right so these are the problems the one who is going to implement manually so these all are problems which we are going to face in waterfall method so or uh, if you want if for addressing all these issues there is one more method is there that is uh, agile method agile method or in some companies we will call continuous method okay continuous method or agile method so here what happened in this method so whatever the problems we are addressing here whatever the problems we are facing here all this problem we are going to address in this agile method so how we are going to address so here in agile method here they are going to conduct scrum meetings scrum meetings in different different companies they will call different different terms like sync up meetings or some companies will call it as stand up meetings like this different different meetings they are going to conduct every day so who is going to conduct this meeting a uh, manager or team lead is going to conduct this meeting so here the purpose of conducting this meeting is to create a kind of friendly environment between these two team members okay so in this meetings every day around 30 minutes to 40 minutes in every company will be happen in my company every day around morning 11:30 to 12:30 we will have this meeting here nowadays so here in this meeting each and every one who working on this project from each team members will be attending for this meeting so here in this meeting every day uh, the manager will be asking three questions one is are you facing any problem with respect to this project okay and second one is what you have done yesterday with respect to this project and third one is what you are going to do today with respect to this project these three questions will be asked by manager for each and every one of team members who are involved in this project so what happened when he raised this question okay what problems you are facing with respect to project so what happened one person from operation team will rise and say that i have installed application but it is not working fine in client servers and straight away one more person uh, i have uh, my machines are perfect but i don't know what kind of wrong with this development team they have uh, developed some wrong kind of product in such a way he will rise and one more person from development team will rise and say that no 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 my product is working fine in my local machine the machines are problem from the deployment team their machines are not working fine so they will try to blame each other so this entire thing will be under everybody's notice who are attending for this meeting so what will be happen so manager will say that okay you both sit together okay try to discuss where the problem is exactly and try to solve this and tomorrow again you just come with uh, you know you just come with me uh, you just come to me with some solution so again tomorrow this meeting will be conducted same questions is going to ask manager they will come with some solution so this meeting purpose is to gets to improve some kind of better friendship between team members and everybody will come to know that what is the status of project that is the purpose of this stand up meetings or sync up meetings or scrum meetings with this meetings the first two problems we can address right so next one is third problem if you want to address this third issue manual we have to implement automation okay we have to implement automation here so how we are going to implement automation at every stage we are going to implement tools okay the only solution for automation is tools right so at development stage we are going to implement one tool called git okay and at build stage we are going to implement one tool called maven as a build tool and at test stage it all depends on the company to company how frequently they want to test at qa stage we are going to implement one tool called sonar cube at deployment stage here also that all depends on the company to company and of course we are going to implement ansible okay or kubernetes or to do some other task in deployment only we are going to implement one more tool called docker so these tools will come in deployment stage okay these tools we are going to implement in deployment stage and come into the maintenance maintenance also it all depends on the company to company how frequently they want to maintain under monitoring stage we are going to use some tools called grafana prometheus all these monitoring tools we are going to implement 
okay fine we are using these many tools right if you want to organize these tools we need one kind of leader right so we are going to implement one tool called jenkins this is one of the major tool here jenkins jenkins is a kind of leader now you just focus on my words guys so continuously developers will be developing this code and continuously they will push code into git immediately continuously jenkins will be pulling the code continuously it will be sending the code to maven for building and continuously result will be sending to this jenkins and continuously testing will be done and continuously once the result is getting jenkins will be pulling the test code and continuously quality will be checking and continuously deployment continuously maintenance continuous monitoring will be there so why we are calling it as continuously there will be no gap here so immediately developers are develop the code they will push the code into git okay and immediately jenkins will be pulling the code continuously building will be done using maven tool okay suppose at maven stage if they are getting any error what will be happen immediately continuously automatic email will be sending to the developers that so on so place building is not done so immediately what will be happen developers will be rectify the issue they will push the code into git again again continuously jenkin will be pulling the code continuously building will happen this is what is going to happen in continuous methodology so in case of waterfall methodology how these things are going to happen these tools were not there in waterfall methodology so what will be happen so throughout the day time developers will be writing the code once after writing the code what will be happen build team used to work in night shifts so what they are going to do throughout the night they will try to build this complete code okay if they are getting any error during building what will be happen next day only developers will come while next day they will hand over this code to the developers whatever the issues they are having so developers they will sit again throughout the day and they will hand over the code back to the build team during nights so if you want to address one issue in waterfall methodology it used to take around one day like this if you have some 100 issues how many days it is taking so if it is so what will be happen finally it is going to affect our faster delivery right faster delivery it is going to affect our faster delivery okay so here and of course here in continuous methodology we are going to address all these issues okay by implementing all this automation tools so here devops engineer purpose is see what is devops if anybody are asking what is devops devops means addressing all traditional issues and implementing automation at every stage of software development life cycle using this automation tools i am repeating guys addressing all traditional issues and implementing automation at every stage of software development life cycle using this automation tools this is the definition of devops if anybody are asking what is definition of devops you can tell same thing okay fine so here what is the purpose of devops engineer here so here once developers are developing the code then onwards devops engineer work will start what devops engineer will do devops engineer will be monitoring all these tools okay they are going to configure all these tools into the jenkins okay so you continuously they have to monitor whether code is pushing or code is building code is checking the quality code is deploying maintaining monitoring all these tasks will be done by one devops engineer that's why nowadays in each and every team previously we will be having some five to 10 people so one devops engineer can do all this task in single tools with these tools devops engineer can do all these tasks deployment team maintenance team monitoring team build team qa team all these teams will be replaced by one devops engineer okay how they are going to replace by using all these automation tools okay that's why even if you get around 10 to 15 members salary also it is very high right that's why devops engineer are having highest packages okay fine so here let me show you the slides now you will understand so here we have seen this slide already now this is the one see what is devops devops is nothing but addressing all traditional issues and implementing complete automation at every stage of software development life cycle okay that is the tools see nene edaithe explain chesano ade meek slides lo pettanu see development team 
development, build, test, QA, deploy, maintenance, monitor. These are the different stages in software development lifecycle. So what is the purpose of develop, DevOps team? They have to collaborate and communicate with the different, different team members in any organization. Okay. Next is here. See, collaboration, communication, and automation will be there. So, and of course, we are going to see all these tools here. Amazon Web Services, Web Servers. Okay, virtual box we are not going to see. Instead of this, we are going to see the latest tool that is Docker. Okay, Ansible. Chef also we are not going to see. This is outdated tool. Instead of this, we are going to see Ansible, Jenkins, Git. Uh, instead of Nagios, we are going to see Prometheus. Kubernetes, we are going to see. Maven, Linux, we are going to see. Okay, and apart from this, we are going to see one more tool called Terraform. Okay, one more tool I am going to tell you. And of course, apart from this, here, we are going to see some scripting languages also. We are going to see some YAML scripting here. And we are going to see some shell scripting things also. We will see. Okay, so here, fine. First, what we are going to do? Our course is first, we are going to learn AWS Cloud. Okay, we are going to learn AWS Cloud. And then inside the AWS cloud, we are going to launch many Linux servers. These are Linux servers. You just assume this is one Linux server. This is another Linux server. Like this, we are going to launch many Linux servers. Inside the Linux servers, we are going to install DevOps tools. So if you want to know DevOps, we have to know first AWS and then Linux and then DevOps. But you no need to worry about everything. I'm going to train you from zero level. Okay, first I will start teaching uh, AWS cloud and then I'm going to teach about Linux and then I will start DevOps tools. Okay, you don't require any prerequisites for this course. And of course, uh, I forgot to introduce myself. Okay, I would have done this before itself. So myself, Jyoti, I'm a DevOps trainer. Okay, from past eight years onwards and I'm having an experience of um, uh, eight plus years in cloud platform. Okay, so I, apart from these tools, I will teach you two live projects which I am going to use in my company. Okay, whatever the environment I have in my company, by integrating all these tools, I will show you minimum two live projects. Okay, once after completion of this course. After this, I will tell you how to prepare your resume. What are the day-to-day -day tasks that DevOps engineer is going to do? What are the errors you are going to get? Everything, resume preparation, how you are going to do. All the things I am going to guide you. Okay, apart from this, okay, whatever the things which I'm going to use in my organization, that I will show you. All those live projects, I'll show you. And you can even practice all those projects also, along with these tools. Okay, so, and of course, the prerequisites for this course is zero. You no need to know anything. You might be from agriculture background, or you might be from uh, uh, BCom background. You might be from a uh, pharmacy background or you might be from technical background. You are from any background. You can happily learn this course because I will teach you from zero level. Okay. So here, fine. That's why I'm telling you the prerequisite is you need some basic laptop. Okay. With some internet connection. That's all. Each and everything I will try you from zero level. Okay, guys. Did you understood? I'm done with my demo. You can proceed. So tomorrow Miku class I will be having some urgent client meeting tomorrow at this time, 8:30 to 9:30. So that's why I can't take class to tomorrow. Again, uh, day after tomorrow, we will have our class regularly. Yeah, Prasad Garu. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead with your doubts. You can unmute and you can ask your uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. What's your doubt? You can unmute and you can ask. No, no, no. After the after the call, we can. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. No, last session, so okay. I need to discuss something. That's why. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Uh, Miguel, I have any doubt in Nandi. Any doubts from anyone? Miguel, there is a doubt in there. You can ask me happily. Ma'am, a screen recording just there. Every day, like a session, ma'am, cost you that. Every yeah, day. one more thing I forgot to tell you. Every day recorded sessions you are going to get. You can access this recording video. And of course, you better to maintain some separate notes with you. Okay. So, me separate notes maintain chess kondi. 
ఆ నోట్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేసుకుంటే ఏమవుతుంది అంటే మీరు ఇంటర్వ్యూ టైంలో మీరు ఏమైతే నేను క్లాస్ చెప్పేటప్పుడే మీకు ఏ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ వస్తాయి అవి కూడా చెప్తాను అనమాట సో మీరు ఏం చేస్తారంటే అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ది కోర్స్ లో మీకు ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇస్తాను బట్ బెటర్ నేను ఏదైతే టాపిక్ చెప్తున్నానో ఆ టాపిక్ చెప్పేటప్పుడే ఇలాంటి కైండ్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వస్తాయి అని ఇంటర్వ్యూలో అడిగే ఛాన్స్ ఉంటుంది అలాంటప్పుడు మీరు ఆ క్వశ్చన్స్ మీరు ఒక నోట్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేశారనుకోండి అవి మీకు ఈజీ అవుతుంది ఇంటర్వ్యూ టైంలో ఎందుకంటే మీకు ఒక్కొక్క రికార్డింగ్ సెషన్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఒక వన్ అవర్ క్లాస్ మినిమం ఉంటుంది మీకు మాక్సిమం వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ అవర్ ఉంటుంది బట్ మినిమం ఒక వన్ అవర్ క్లాస్ ఉంటుంది డైలీ ఓకే సో మీకు ఇంటర్వ్యూ వెళ్లే ముందు అలా మీకు అరౌండ్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ టు మినిమం ఫిఫ్టీ సెషన్స్ ఉంటాయి ఓకే దిస్ కోర్స్ డ్యూరేషన్ ఇస్ అరౌండ్ టూ టు టూ మంత్స్ మినిమం టూ అండ్ హాఫ్ మంత్స్ మాక్సిమం సో మీకు అరౌండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ టు ఫిఫ్టీ సెషన్స్ ఉంటాయి టోటల్ గా సో మీకు ఆ ఫిఫ్టీ వీడియోస్ ఒక్కొక్కటి వన్ అవర్ ఉంటుంది సో అంత వీడియో వినాలి అంటే ప్రాబ్లం అవుతుంది అందుకే మీకు రికార్డెడ్ వీడియోస్ వస్తాయి మీరు వినేటప్పుడే మీరు హ్యాండీగా ఒక బుక్ నోట్ మెయింటైన్ చేశారు అంటే మీకు ఇంటర్వ్యూ టైంలో క్విక్ రెఫరెన్స్ లాగా పనికి వస్తారు అంతే అంతకు మించి ఏం లేదు ఏమైనా డాక్యుమెంట్స్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఉంటే నేను షేర్ చేస్తాను షేర్ చేయగలిగేవి ఉంటే ఓకే సో ఎనీ అదర్ థింగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ వన్ మీకు ఎవ్రీడే రికార్డెడ్ సెషన్స్ వస్తాయి యూ జస్ట్ కాంటాక్ట్ విత్ అడ్మిన్ టీమ్ ఈ రోజు రికార్డెడ్ వీడియో కూడా వస్తుంది మీరు ఆ రికార్డెడ్ వీడియో ఎన్నిసార్లు అయినా చూసుకోవచ్చు చూసుకొని మీరు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఎస్ మీకు ఏంటంటే ప్రతిరోజు మనం కొన్ని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం ఇక్కడ అవి కూడా మీకు వస్తాయి వస్తే మీరు అవి ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడమే మీకు పెద్ద టాస్క్ అవుతుంది యా గైస్ రేపు ఒక్క రోజు క్లాస్ ఉండదు మీకు ఎల్లుండి నుంచి మళ్ళీ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజింగ్ సేమ్ లింక్ మీరు జాయిన్ అయిపోవచ్చు క్లాస్ గా ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ యూ కెన్ లీవ్ ద సెషన్ యా ప్రసాద్ గారు యూ కెన్ గో హెడ్ విత్ యువర్ డౌట్ ప్రసాద్ కెన్ యూ అన్యూట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ యా yeah you can go ahead with it uh actually ga last session lo kuda unna nenu but unfortunately uh team cancel avadam valla adi postpone ayinda nanu okay 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 so what's your uh, doubt problem na doubt entante uh, for example i don't know actually meeru uh, any classes teesukuntunara like ante already oka batch edaina running batch lo vere topic edaina start avutunte i'll start with that one also simultaneously no 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 problem you can continue with this batch ఆ బ్యాచెస్ మళ్ళీ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఉన్నాయి మళ్ళీ మీకు ప్రాబ్లం అవుతుంది అలా అని అంటాం లేదు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీరు ఇప్పుడు ఇనిషియల్ స్టేజ్ లో ఇక్కడ చెప్తున్నారు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మేరే బ్యాచ్ కి డాకర్ చెప్తూ ఉండొచ్చు లేకపోతే కుబర్నెటీస్ చెప్పచ్చు ఆన్సబుల్ చెప్పచ్చు మేబీ ఎనీథింగ్ ఫ్రెష్ గా ఏదైనా ఒక టాపిక్ స్టార్ట్ చేస్తుంటే ఇది అది రెండు సెషన్స్ జాయిన్ అవుతాను నాకు కొంచెం ఇంపార్టెంట్ పర్మిషన్ ఇవ్వరనుకుంటా అండి మీరు ఒకసారి అడ్మిన్ టీమ్ తో కాంటాక్ట్ అవ్వండి ఐఎమ్ నాట్ మచ్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఇన్ దట్ యా యా నేను ఆల్్రెడీ మాట్లాడాను ఏంటంటే లాస్ట్ వీక్ నేను ఇంకొక ఆప్షన్ కూడా అడిగాను సో నాకు ఈ టెన్ డేస్ నాకు వేస్ట్ అవుతుంది నాకు అట్లీస్ట్ రికార్డెడ్ వీడియోస్ ఉన్నాయండి ఐ పే ఫుల్ అమౌంట్ అని కూడా అన్నాను బట్ నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ కన్ఫర్మ్ గా చెప్పలేదు స్టార్ట్ అవుతుందా లేదా అని సో ఇది మాత్రం డెఫినెట్ గా స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ అన్నారు ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ నేను యాక్చువల్ గా బీ ఫ్రాంక్ ఏంటంటే నేను చాలా ఫాలో అయ్యాను బట్ నాకు ఏంటంటే ఎక్కడ నాకు ఈ ప్రాపర్ లేదనమాట సో మీ వే ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్ నాకు చాలా బాగా నచ్చింది చాలా బాగా నచ్చిందంటే క్లియర్ గా అర్థం అవుతుంది అనమాట ఓకే సో దాని కోసం నేను వెయిట్ చేశాను ఇప్పటి వరకు ఓకే యాక్చువల్లీ ఏంటంటే అదే ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఏంటంటే మీరు ఎక్కడైనా డెమో వినండి అండ్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఏమవుతుందంటే ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ రికార్డెడ్ వీడియోస్ చూసాను అనుకోండి నాకు ఏదైనా డౌట్ వచ్చింది స్ట్రక్ అయిపోతుంది ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు గో ఫార్ ఎస్ అందుకే బెటర్ రికార్డెడ్ వీడియో మీకు వస్తుంది ఎవ్రీ డే బట్ అది ఫాలో అవ్వడం ఎక్కడైనా స్ట్రక్ అయినా కానీ ఐ కెన్ ఆస్క్ యూ వాట్ ఇస్ దిస్ అండ్ వాట్ హౌట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడిగి నేను క్లియర్ చేసుకోగలుగుతాను yeah na suggestion mm-hmm. enti ante you can mm-hmm. even go with recorded video i will share with by if you contact but what my intention is meer live sessions vinnar anukondi ha nenu adhe adugutunanu so we became in a doubt ochina ha clarify cheskochu ha ippudu nenu enti ante nenu konjam free unnanu ante i am not doing anything uh, resign chesi okay. nenu uh, nechukoni technology change avdam ani wait chestunanu okay fine uh, so okka sari naaku మీరు అడ్మిన్ టీమ్ తో కాంటాక్ట్ అయ్యారా నేను ఒకసారి మాట్లాడి మీకు ఏ విషయం అప్డేట్
ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ట్ నేను మాట్లాడతానండి మాట్లాడి మీకు ఏ విషయం వీళ్ళు అప్డేట్ చేస్తారు ఓకే నేను అడ్మిన్ టీమ్ తో మాట్లాడి మీకు కమ్యూనికేట్ అవుతాను షూర్ అండి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఓకే సో ఐ అండర్స్టాండ్ మీకు చాలా టైం వేస్ట్ అవుతుంది లాస్ట్ బ్యాచ్ లోనే చేద్దాం అనుకున్నారు బట్ యు కుడ్ డంట్ రైట్ దట్ ఇస్ వాట్ యువర్ డౌట్ రైట్ ఆ లాస్ట్ బ్యాచ్ నేను కంటిన్యూ అని ఒక్కనే కంటిన్యూ అయింది ఎవర్ లేరు సో అన్ఫోర్చునేట్లీ లేరు అని చెప్పేసి క్యాన్సిల్ అయింది ఆ బ్యాచ్ ఆ ఆ ఆ ఫైన్ సో ఒకసారి కమ్యూనికేట్ అవుదాము ఓకేనా సో ఫైన్ ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు ప్రొవైడ్ యూ ద యాక్సెస్ ఓకే సపోజ్ మీరు ఒకవేళ అవి అర్థం కాలేదు అనుకోండి ఈ బ్యాచ్ తో మీరు రెగ్యులర్ గా సెషన్స్ అటెండ్ అవ్వచ్చు యా షూర్ ఆ ఈ బ్యాచ్ కంటిన్యూ అవుతాను ఎందుకంటే బేసిక్స్ నుంచి ఐ విల్ గో త్రూ దిస్ వన్ బట్ ఎనీ అదర్ టాపిక్ వేరే ఉన్నా అది కూడా కంటిన్యూ అవుతాను టు క్లాసెస్ పర్ డే ఐ కెన్ మేనేజ్ నో इश्यूज యా యా సో ఏంటంటే ఆల్మోస్ట్ సేమ్ సేమ్ టీచింగ్ ఉంటుంది మేబీ ప్రతి క్లాస్ కి ఏదో ఒక కొంచెం అన్న ఏదో ఒక వీడియోలో కొంచెం అన్న అప్డేట్ ఉంటుంది అనమాట ఎందుకంటే నేను జనరల్ గా ఏంటి అంటే మా ఆఫీస్ లో ఏదైతే ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేస్తామో అది జనరల్ గా ఐ విల్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ టీచింగ్ ప్రొఫెషన్ సో దాని వల్ల అట్లీస్ట్ ఏదో ఒక ఎవ్రీ మంత్ ఏదో ఒక కొన్ని న్యూ థింగ్స్ అనేవి నేర్చుకుంటూ ఉంటాం మేము సో అవి అనేది నేను ఆ టీచింగ్ ప్రొఫెషన్ లో ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేస్తూ ఉంటా అందుకే ఎవ్రీ వీడియోస్ అనేవి కొంచెం అన్న ఎక్కడ ఒక చోట అప్డేట్ ఉంటాయి సో అదనమాట సో ఫైన్ ఎనీ అదర్ డౌట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ వన్ ఇంకెవరికైనా ఏదైనా డౌట్ ఉందా అండి సో మీరు ఎక్కడైనా డెమో వినండి ప్రాబ్లం ఏం లేదు మీరు ఎవరి దగ్గరైనా నా దగ్గరే కాదు వేరే ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ లో కూడా డెమో వినండి యూ జస్ట్ బీ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఆన్ దోస్ డెమోస్ ఫస్ట్ మీకు ప్రాపర్ గా అర్థం అవుతుంది అంటేనే మీరు అనుకోవచ్చు డెమో కాబట్టి ఇంత క్లియర్ గా ఉందేమో అని నో రెగ్యులర్ గా కూడా సెషన్ ఇలాగే ఉంటుంది ఓకే రెగ్యులర్ గా సెషన్ ఇలాగే ఉంటుంది మీకు ఏ డౌట్స్ ఉన్నా కూడా వన్స్ మీ డౌట్స్ క్లారిఫై అయినాకనే నేను క్లాస్ అనేది వైండ్ ఆఫ్ చేస్తాం ఓకే డౌట్స్ క్లారిఫై అవ్వకుండా మాత్రం క్లాస్ అనేది ఏ రోజు వైండ్ ఆఫ్ చేయండి అండ్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ మీకు ఒక వాట్సాప్ గ్రూప్ కూడా క్రియేట్ చేస్తారు ఆ వాట్సాప్ గ్రూప్ లో కూడా యూ కెన్ ఈవెన్ కమ్యూనికేట్ దట్ గ్రూప్ ఈస్ మెంట్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ టెక్నికల్ డిస్కషన్స్ ఓకే సో మీకు వాట్సాప్ గ్రూప్ కూడా ఉంటుంది మీకు ఏమైనా ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసేటప్పుడు ఏమైనా డౌట్స్ వచ్చినా కూడా యూ కెన్ ఈవెన్ పోస్ట్ ఇన్ దట్ వాట్సాప్ గ్రూప్ ఆల్సో ఓకే ఫైన్ ఇంకేమైనా డౌట్సా అండి ఎవరికైనా ఎవరికేం డౌట్స్ లేకపోతే ఐ విల్ వైండ్ ఆఫ్ ద క్లాస్ ఓకే గైస్ రేపు నేను అవైలబుల్ లో ఉండను క్లయింట్ మీటింగ్ ఉంటుంది ఎల్లుండి నుంచి మళ్ళీ మనకు సెషన్ కంటిన్యూ అవుతుంది ఓకే ఐ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఐ కెన్ సీ ఇన్ డే ఆఫ్టర్ టుమారో సెషన్ ఆల్సో ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ గైస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఎవ్రీ వన్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ యువర్ పేషెన్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ గుడ్ నైట